The Elves and the Shoemaker Once upon a time, children, there lived a shoemaker with his wife. The shoemaker and his wife were very old and they were very poor too. As the shoemaker was growing older day by day, he could not make as many pair of shoes as he would when he was young. One day, the shoemaker sat down to make a pair of shoe and he realized that he did not have enough leather to make one. So, without completing the shoe that night, the shoemaker went to bed and he prayed to God that he should help him. The next day, when the shoemaker woke up and he came out of his room, he was surprised to see that the leather that he had cut the last night was made into a beautiful pair of shoes. Just then a dandy gentleman came and he loved the shoe. He said, What a lovely pair of shoes. Oh, I love it so much. I want to buy it right away. The gentleman took the shoe and in return gave the shoemaker double its price. With that money, the shoemaker bought leather for two pairs of shoes and again that night he sat down to cut the leather. Half done, he went to bed and next morning when he woke up, he saw the magic again. The leather was made into beautiful pairs of shoes. The shoemaker and his wife were flabbergasted. They had never seen such beautiful shoes before. Soon the word of mouth spread in the town and everybody lined up to buy shoes from the shoemaker. People came from near and far to buy these splendid shoes made by the shoemaker. And soon shoemaker and his wife became rich. Now they had enough money in their house. One day, the shoemaker's wife said to him, He who made us so rich, don't you think we should find out who that person is? What if we stay awake tonight and see who comes and does the magic for us? The shoemaker loved the idea. And that Christmas night, the shoemaker and his wife hid behind their coats. As the clock struck midnight, the shoemaker and his wife, they saw two tiny elves sneak into their house. They jumped and they sat on the table. And while they whistled and murmured, they sat down to work with their hands they worked at such a speed that the shoemaker and his wife could not believe their eyes. And once the shoes were done, the elves quietly sneaked out of the house. The next morning, the shoemaker's wife said to him, Oh darling, don't you think we should do something for these elves? Let's give them presents in return to what they have done for us. I'm going to make them a beautiful pair of warm coat, a cap and a pair of socks. The shoemaker said, Yes, that's a good idea. Well, you make warm pair of clothes for them and I am going to make a beautiful pair of shoes for them. The shoemaker and his wife made the presents and laid them on the table. As the elves came home that night, instead of 
finding leather on the table, they saw these beautiful presents on the table. First, they were surprised and then they fell in love with them. The elves put on these clothes. They jumped and they leaped around the house. And soon, giggling and laughing, they went away. The elves never came back. And the shoemaker and his wife, they lived a happy life together. So that's the end of the story, children. And from the story, we learned that as we do good to others, the good comes back to us.